Ooh, baby, look what we have here. We've got a local jackfruit. So I'm gonna rip into this baby and show you the insides. So it's like really soft, you know, so you can just kind of pull it apart like that. And the pods, pods are like, look at that. And it kind of tastes like bubble gum. You know, it depends on the variety, of course, but um, it's a pretty, pretty, like, very yummy taste, very yummy. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Like little, it's like an alien giving birth to these very sweet, juicy babies. I'm gonna really enjoy this. It's, you know, it's not enough for a whole meal. I would eat a couple of these in one meal. But this is pretty damn good. It's like lo local jackfruit, just literally across the road. So we're very spoiled, very spoiled this morning. So I was riding along and I just noticed all these mangoes in the gutter. Like way, 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 way up there. And all the way down here, down here, down here. Just amazing. These trees are pretty loaded. And I sampled one or two and oh, it is really, really good. Okay, these are phenomenal mangoes. I have a bit more now. Mm. Actually the best mango I've tasted in a long time. And I mean, it's kind of sad because the society, society is not encouraged to eat fruit. It's like have your two pieces of fruit a day and you're right. And then people eat shit fruit and they hate fruit. But people don't, you know, get to have it off the tree like this. They just let it rot in the gutter. Like there's a house right there. Just let it rot in the gutter because they're getting their sugar sauce. They're getting their simple carbohydrates from like refined sugars and honey and stuff like that. So they don't have the desire for the fruit. But of course they should be going for the fructose. That is where the true health is. And all the vitamins and minerals and all the beautiful living nutrition. All right, I better get back on the road. Ooh, looky what we have here. Looksky, looksky. And look who turned up. Here on my doorstep. So we've got about uh, Flew in. 50 calories for breakfast. <laughs> Not too much food. 50 calories. And we'll probably this chase just, it down with some dates. This is just the start. Yeah, then we have some data aid. I've actually had double this already. Ooh, get your little hand out of here. Next up is blueberries. So I just ate half this bucket of blueberries. I'm going to probably munch a little bit more. There's a few sour ones in there, so it's kind of putting me off a bit, but I got through half, so that's good. And have a jackfruit. And now I'm probably going to have some pineapple juice. So we're just talking about how hemp is not available for sale. Well, it's not allowed to be sold as a food in Australia, but it is in America and New Zealand, right? Yeah, let's say whilst an organic shop tomorrow or an online store and sell hemp and label it as a food, I get a $200,000 fine. No questions asked. That's crazy, so isn't it? So how they sell hemp in Australia is they say it's for, for makeup, like a facial scrub. The hemp protein is a facial scrub. So or what about dog food or something? Or, or? or for dog food, but it can't be sold as human food in Australia. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll receive a $200,000 fine if you're part of a little business. The Aussies are scared of, um, what, it's getting stoned, stoned off oh, the hemp the, seeds? The reason is the Australian government doesn't, well, doesn't want to confuse the benefits of hemp with marijuana. <laughs> so Australians are the only countries in the world who ban hemp sale for food. But That's if I was crazy. an individual and say walk down the street and say, hey, you want to buy some hemp seeds, a good, oh, okay. good source of protein, or whatever is happening in your smoothies, and it's an undercover cop, I get a forty thousand dollar fine potentially. <laughs> oh, that's so, but if I walk down the street, sell a bag of a pound bag of drugs of marijuana, I don't really get much. I get a lesser fine than that if I sold hemp. What a weird little system Crazy, we have going there. Crazy. A bit hypocritical. Look, look at this amazing meal that Mama Duck made. Look at this curry. We're about to smash this in on the rice. Ooh, baby. So, um, and how did you get involved with that? So you wanted to change your health. Yeah. How did you get onto the vegan way of life? So I, I wish I could say it was for the animals, but I wasn't that aware. I was pretty ignorant. And it was for my health. I was so unhealthy. I had terrible digestion. I had acne. I had chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, coming from bulimia. Yeah. Anorexia. I was like a big old mess. Seriously, massive mess. And. I was fine. I was actually in a yoga class and my yoga teacher was like super fit and healthy and inspiring. And I'm like, what's your secret? And she's like, I'm vegan. Right. And I'm like, 
okay. I, you know, I didn't even really know what that was. Yeah. I had a client, I was a personal trainer at the time, I had a client who was vegan, but I didn't really take any notice. I was like, yeah, whatever, that's extreme. Yeah, yeah. And um, my yoga teacher, she came up to me and she looked into my eyes and she's like, you are full of mucus. Whoa. Like just, Everywhere. she was so right. Like I was pissed at the time. I was like, yeah. you know, that welled up within me. Yeah, defensive. Yeah, but then I was like, she is so right. I feel so sick. I want to get well. And so she recommended I get a juicer. It came with a raw food living recipe book. And then I tried the raw food lifestyle, raw vegan lifestyle. It actually yeah. came with like raw meat recipes. Whoa. And yeah. even though I wasn't vegan, my intuition straight away was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, how yeah, disgusting. Exactly. But because I cooked it, it was okay suddenly. Yeah, it was, yeah. You know, the disconnect. So anyway, fast forward a few years, like I really got into it and just the transformation began. And you can see those transformations. The pictures and everything like that on my Facebook and on my YouTube. 